guys, today I am filming my monthly makeup basket for July. I'm doing my best to catch up on videos. I'm getting there, still have a bit to go, but I've done a good job of posting a lot more over the past couple weeks. But anyway, I was gonna do the Shop My Stash style, but I had a hard time thinking about what products I wanted to pick, and I was really analyzing my collection, and I figured it was not gonna be genuine to pull products out. I already had things in mind, so I just have them all pulled out to share with you, and I'm actually glad that I'm doing this because I pulled out a lot more things, and I'm really excited about the things that I'm using because I'm gonna be doing a couple different routines based on the day. So usually I've got filming makeup and work makeup, but I started doing it this week. I'm filming this on a Friday and I'm wanting to continue doing it unless I'm too tired. So I'm going to have work makeup, filming makeup, and then work from home makeup just to basically put makeup on almost every day and get more use of my products use different things and have more fun. So first I've got these priming type products that I'm gonna be using most days. So this is my MAC Fix Plus, which I'm using as a priming spray, and my IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Primer. Both of these are in my summer project pan. I'm gonna have an update coming soon, but I will link my playlist up in the cards. But on some filming days, I will be testing this a little bit more as well. This is the Ciate Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. And I don't want to use it so much I'm taking away from making progress on this. But with the fact that I'm doing my makeup even more, I think I can, you know, get away with using this a good handful of times to really get opinions on it. And then I'm going to be using two different eye primers these are both open i don't want one to take forever before it gets use out of me i don't want one to go bad so on the days where i'm filming i'm going to be using the anastasia eye primer because this does have some color and coverage to it and i will be wearing this with a liquid foundation and then on days where i'm working from home or going into the office using my powder foundation because this is translucent I will be using the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion original and then I have some under foundation glow that I want to be doing so on work from home days and going into the office days because this is in my project pan I will be using the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand in the shade Alight. And then on days when I'm filming, I'm going to be using the Illamasqua Beyond Liquid Highlight in OMG. I'm wearing it today under my makeup. If I end up liking this, I might roll this into my fall project pan to use it up. Let me know what you think about that. This is very pigmented, but really beautiful. So for concealer on filming days, I will be testing out this Sigma Color Correcting Duo in light to medium. But then work from home days, filming days, and going into the office days, I am gonna be using this concealer for my project pan, the Tarte Shape Tape Mini, and this is in the shade 205 Light Sand. Then for foundation, I have a lot going on. So on days when I'm going into the office, I will be using the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Powder Foundation in 10 Porcelain. I've made a lot of progress here, but I'm not gonna spoil that. So that's what I'm using on in the office days. On work from home days, I want to use a skin tint, and then I probably will use a little bit of the powder foundation on top, but with more of like a fluffy brush, not my dense powder packing brush that I'm normally using. So the skin tint I wanna use this month is the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer, and I have, oh gosh, where is it? What color do I have? 14W and if I enjoy this I think I'll do the same with my Cali Ray skin tint for next month but we'll see then for filming days on some of those days I want to be testing this new product I am wearing it today this is the profusion feel good skin long wear skin perfector in fair one warm yellow it's just a fancy name for a foundation because it gives really good coverage and I went to balance testing that new product with using this foundation that is in my project pan, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in 100 True Alabaster. This is a little light, so I am mixing it with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun Serum Bronzer. Now, <laughs> on to bronzing type products. I am not gonna be using any cream liquid bronzers with my powder foundation, or even I'm working from home. These are just gonna be filming types. So 
I do want to play around with this L'Oreal foundation. I already know how it mixes the bare skin, but I want to also see how it mixes with the iconic London sheer bronze in the shade caramel glow i am wearing this today on top of my foundation like a liquid bronzer and that worked nicely as well so i will also use it in that way but i just for experimenting sake want to see how it mixes with a l'oreal and how much i need what i think about either of these as a mixture but just playing around basically but there will be some days where I do use this just as like a liquid bronzer and then under my foundation and maybe some days I'll play with it on top as well for cream bronzer this is something that I'm also testing more to see if I want to keep the Anastasia cream bronzer and sun kissed it's a little light for me and it is olive tone which is not an undertone that works super well for me and then for powder just keeping it simple a Durham blend translucent loose setting powder so when I'm using my powder foundation I would just be using this to set my under eyes I will probably be using a mixture of both of these with my skin tint and then when I'm using my regular liquid foundation on filming days, I'm just going to use this to set my face. Also speaking of powder, I finally bought those little triangle puffs that everyone was dying over on TikTok to set my under eyes and to set my face. I've really been enjoying it. So I'll be using that with a Derm Blend powder as well. Also for powder, I will be using this just really whenever I need it. I do have this in my organizer on my desk for when I'm doing work from home makeup or going into the office makeup, just if I need a little bit more mattification in some areas, my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent. I don't use this very much since I'm not touching up often throughout the day. So I've been enjoying using this a little bit more. And then no matter what, I am setting my face with the Benefit Pore Professional Super Setter. This is in my project pan almost done and then I'll work on something else. So then for cheeks, from work from home days and going into the office days, I will be using one of these four cream blushes. They are all in my summer project pan. I've got usage goals on them. So the first one is Merit Beverly Hills, Tarte Breezy in Peach Sunset, Beauty Counter Cheeky Clean Cream Blush in Cider, and Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur and Coral Cloud. Then for bronzer, I'll be using this one in all of the different makeup scenarios. And this is the Anastasia Powder Bronzer in Saddle, which is one of my deeper bronzers. So it really only works for me in the summer. Still need a light hand. For highlight, I have one that I will be using on work from home days and going into the office days. And this is the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlight in Sin, which I really love and want to get some more use out of and hopefully hit pan. That would be amazing. And then on filming days, I'm going to be using this Jaclyn Holiday Face Palette called Winter Sun. I'll be using these two highlights, Royal Icing and Avalanche. And then these powder blushes are just going to be on filming days, at least as I plan for now. So I will, of course, be using the one in this Jaclyn face palette. It is called Snow Bunny. I also want to get some more use out of my loose powder blush from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is the shade Love Language. I want to finally use my skin glazing blushes from Nabla. So starting over here, we have Truth, Independence in the middle, and Lola on the end. And then I also want to test all of the new Ciate Glow 2 blushes. They have six shades. I was sent four of them. So I want to use them all. I am wearing one today and it's so beautiful. I am wearing the more mauve color called Deep Love. The more nude blush is First Date. The peach color is Tempt Me. And the pink shade is Doll Face. So that is all for face. I know that was so much, but I'm really excited to use these different things and we'll see how it goes if I do a similar thing next month or if I feel like this was too much. Then to use to fill in my hairline, I've used up the darker shade. I'm now onto the lighter color of the Lorac Take a Brow Kit in the shade blonde. You can see I've hit pan on this. So this should be finished by the end of the month, I'm assuming, which will be fantastic. So for brows, I'm mostly using the same step. I'm just rotating brow gels. So I am starting with my NYX Eyebrow Shaper Wax Pencil. I am drawing on the front, the tail, and lining my brows with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in one. And then I'm filling in the center with the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade number two. And then for brow gels on 
work from home days and going into the office days. I am using my Benefit Gimme Brow Gel in, I don't know what color, either one or two, all my writing has rubbed off. And then on filming days, I'm using my Merit Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. And I recently took the stopper out of this, which was a little bit crazy. So before you wipe it off, it looks like this. So basically, when I use this, I scrape off all the product inside and kind of finagle it so I'm not wasting it. But I can't do this when I'm rushing to get out the door to work. But I still really want to use all of this up. So that is why I'm using two right now. Then I've got some eye staples that I'm wearing no matter the situation. So to set the primer under my brow, I'm using what I have left of this eyeshadow from the Balm in Matte Malloy. And then to set the primer in my crease, also to clean up under my eye and the outer corner to make my eyeshadow look a little bit more winged out. I'm using Wet n Wild Brulee. I literally just started using this one last month and I hit pan on it already. They reformulated this and it was way more powdery than it used to be, unfortunately. Then also, no matter what, because I wanna get this mofo used up, this is my Allure Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Sunrise in my year-long project pan. This can't be done fast enough. Then for eyeshadow, I'm mostly going to focus on the palettes for filming and the singles can be for work from home days going to the office days, but I think I'm gonna do a little bit of both. I am also working on some eyeshadows in my summer project pan, so I don't wanna to totally spoil all that. So there will be a few more things added in. So we'll see. I really kind of take my palettes back and forth if I feel like using them. This one though is probably gonna be just a filming palette. And this is the Barbie and ColourPop Malibu Barbie palette. It looks really fun and has a lot of bright shades in here. So yeah, this will probably be just filming. But this one I probably will take in to the office with me to possibly wear for work. And this is the Aether Beauty Desert Sunset palette. Today I'm just using some of the mattes. And I will be pairing that with some singles I really want to get use out of, which would be all six of the Jaclyn Cosmetics Shimmer Top Coats from her holiday collection. So today I'm wearing the more cool tone shade Tinsel. Then I'm so mad at myself for throwing away the box for this one. And that's because I bought it from the Morphe website and I wouldn't return it. So this is North Star. But it's just like so much easier to just look at them and know which one I'm grabbing for because they have the color on the top. So I'm so mad about that. And then I've also got Frozen, Glisten, Icicle, and Glassy. So I wanna use each of these one time. And then other miscellaneous eye products. These three eyeliners are in my summer project pan as well to get use out of them. The ColourPop Creme Gel Liners in Crystal Crush Plum Smash and at sunset. These are going back and forth between my filming makeup setup and my work makeup setup. And then same with these. Whenever I don't want a bright liner, these have been working really well. At least they did last month. So I wanna keep using these for the rest of summer. These are the Nabla Cupid's Arrow Stylo. So this is a nice caramel brown in arrow number five. And this is a like reddish brown in arrow number seven. Then I have a new mascara combo I'm going to be using. I will use this for two months. So starting with the Lancome Hypnos Drama Mascara, one of my favorite mascaras of all time. And then I've already opened this but haven't used it much. So I'm going to use it before it dries up. This is the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water Mascara. And on its own, it doesn't do enough for me, but I think it will pair nicely with the lawn comb. And then we just have lips. So this is something in my project pan that really just this week, I decided that I'm going to apply this before I start putting on my makeup. So I will also be taking this from my filming makeup station to my work makeup station. This is the Buxom Plump Shot Collagen Infused Lip Serum. It's really fun. And then for my colored lip products, these are just gonna be for filming. And then on work from home days, going to the office days, I will be using my Project Pan lip products, which are in my purse and they're gonna be changing up a little bit. So I want to ruin that for my update coming soon. So the lip products I'll be using for filming, I have this little mini Bare Minerals Bare Pro lipstick in the shade Petal. These MAC Glow Play Lip Balms in Floral Coral and Rouge Awakening. 
since I'm using the other products from Jaclyn's holiday collection. <laughs> Finally. I will be using this lip lacquer in the shade Cookies. One of my favorite products ever, the Tower 28 Milky Lip Jelly. This is in the shade Coconut. And then this is a newer lip product to me. I really want to test this formula to see if I may want to pick up more. I've really only heard Babs Beauty talk about these. They would be the Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Matte. And this nude is Chill Night. For nail polish, I forgot to pull them out. I wore Light Slacker Booze Cruise, OPI, got myself into a jambalaya, and then today I'm wearing Color Club Supernatural, which I got from Walmart a couple years ago. I love all of them, they're all stained. So I know this was a much longer monthly makeup basket, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. it it's making me really excited to use these things and have these three different makeup routines using my products more because you guys know I have a lot of products. So let me know your thoughts on this. If you liked it, if you like this talk through style, if I decide to do these three different routines again next month, I might film this video this way again instead of pulling through the drawers. So let me know your thoughts. Please be honest. I can take it. But I would love to hear your thoughts on these products in the comments down below. And I would love to hear what makeup you plan on wearing for this month. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.